रिकॉर्डिंग इज स्टार्टेड Yeah, yeah. I'm not able to see the settings. So most probably it must have started. Okay then. So I'll just share the slides and begin. The recording is on, right? Hi Kumar. Yeah, hello sir. Good morning sir. Ah, uh, good morning. Ah, uh, Kumar, आप share कर लीजिए एक बार PPT. Yes sir, I have just uh, started to share it. अभी share it on क्या? You can share it, right? Okay, okay. Yes. Thank you. Sure. Thanks. So who is, uh, who is giving a brief introduction of yours? Sir, I will be giving. अच्छा, uh, regarding me sir. Yes, your introduction uh, yeah okay i will introduce you no problem uh, can you send me your brief profile acha mai ma gayi tanisha mai ma gayi theek hai okay i will be introduct introducing you okay sure sir So uh, shall I begin now, sir? Uh, just just wait. Ah, we will be okay. starting at ten. Okay. Ah, uh, uh, in five minutes time. Just uh, let uh, more student uh, gather, right? Okay. good morning students uh myself dr prabhat kumar tripathi i am head of institution mit business school and today i welcome you all for today's session on bridge classes as you know the very purpose of these bridge classes are to bring to you a plat at a platform where you can cope up with the studies you all know that microsoft office tools are very essential and required for doing all the assignments doing all the projects doing the presentations so today's session is on ppt microsoft ppt and today's speaker is professor kumar gaurav from mit university jharkhand 
He is pursuing his PhD from NIT Jamshedpur and is a regular faculty in IT department. So I welcome Kumar Gauravji and request Kumar Gauravji to start the session of today. Thank you, sir, uh, for the warm introduction. OK. So students, uh, let's begin. Thanks again and begin. I believe uh, my screen is visible now. Yes, yes, uh, Gauraji. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, uh, like already introduced, today's session is on Microsoft PowerPoint, and uh, this is a base course for batch of 2023 in the AY 2024. I'm an instructor for the session. So, let's begin. Uh, we are all already aware about uh, the Microsoft Office which has been like introduced by Microsoft for all the uh, various things that we do usually in our office world. We have the MS Word, we have MS Excel, we have PowerPoint, and everything has got its own utility, right? Uh, we use MS Word for preparing the documents, we use Excel for preparing the expressions, and when we have to present our work, we go for the Microsoft PowerPoint. So, presentation, uh, like we already know that content preparation has its own importance and its presentation has even more. So let's now uh, try our best to learn how we can present well with the help of Microsoft PowerPoint. So this is a little bit about history. Uh, we will not like go very deep into it, but just for the sake of knowledge, we will know that initially Microsoft PowerPoint was not made for Windows. It was made for actually the Macintosh. Yes, the Apple computers initially, and later on Microsoft uh, purchased that out, and like right after its release, within uh, three months, Microsoft purchased it, and eventually it also launched for Macintosh initially, but later on it uh, uh, introduced that in Windows also. And in 2007, uh, it offered a format called ODPF, Open Document Presentation Format. Actually, the thing is before that, now, Whatever you were preparing uh, in MS Word or MS PowerPoint or uh, MS Excel, uh, they used to be like uh, they you could open that only using the applications of Microsoft. But from 2007, uh, you could open that even in other platforms, such as if anybody here has used uh, Ubuntu, which is on uh, like which is a Linux distribution, then you would know that there is an uh, there is an open source software called LibreOffice. That is a bit equivalent to what MS Office uh, offers. So now using that, you will be able to open uh, the PowerPoint files too. But that feature, that support was introduced from 2007. That's what we uh, like. That format is referred to as ODF or Open Document uh, Format. So for presentation, it is ODPF. Now, uh, Let's talk about the main features of MS PowerPoint. See, uh, usually interfaces are of two types, right? Uh, one is where you like write the code. We call it command line interface. One where you use the graphics for like interacting with the system. We refer to it as it as graphical user interface. Here also the emphasis is on like the graphical user interface. Uh, you have got here uh, blocks. There are ready-made items. You just have to click there, drag it and drop it to the location that you want. We'll see that also. Okay, we will actually like uh, try to work on uh, a file today. We have got various templates there. We have got a lot of animations. We can uh, add some transitions to the slides. Okay, let me uh, show this out uh, in practical. That would be more helpful.
So what I'm trying to do is now I'm trying to uh, prepare another fresh uh, document. I'll share this one again. It seems to like, have stopped it for a while. Yeah, I believe the share is on again. So uh, I have opened another slide here so that I could like prepare a new file. Now see, I'm going for a new blank presentation here. So we have got a lot of uh, templates right here to select from. Let's go with this one, this iron boardroom. Okay, if we like choose this one and uh, go with this, this is how it begins, right? So these are the options here. This one here is referred to as the ribbon. If you like click on everything, you will see the relevant options. When you have to like insert anything, you can use this insert uh, tab and look at what you can add. You can add new slides whenever you wish. You can add uh, pictures here. You can get pictures from the internet. You can take some screenshots and add that. You can also add a photo album. You can add your own shapes, the shapes which are here, right? You can select uh, some from them. Anyone from here actually. Then we have got smart art. Uh, you can like use it for preparing uh, uh, like if you have to show some uh, relationship between items or you just want to like show a table very nicely, you can use this. You have got various things here. You have uh, this thing for preparing the lists. If you want to show a process, you can use this. Okay, we'll try this out. Let's just uh, glance at what we have right now. Okay, we have got an option for adding charts, for adding the comments. Mm -hmm for adding a text box, the header, which is at the top, and footer, which is at the bottom. We have got word art for like uh, writing things in a very beautiful manner, wherever we wish to. We can add date and time here, the slide numbers, and we can also add some like uh, links over here uh, to some other file formats. We refer to them as here the embedded objects. So if I'm adding, uh, if I want to like add a PDF file uh, here, okay, uh, using which like if I click on that it should open it, it should uh, lead into the Adobe Acrobat and it should open that PDF then I can use that from here I can just add object for equations we have with this we can also add video we can also add audio now let's uh, just focus on this particular slide so, uh, let's try to like uh, prepare this suppose this is our title slide huh? and let's uh, let it to say this uh, this if, if, if the topic is supposed to say the career prospects uh, after completing, uh, say, BTEC and CSE, let's just, let's just be that. Okay, so how are we going to prepare slides for that? See, so this is the second slide. I'm just uh, editing it. I'm just putting the title. Then we have got the subtitle here. Suppose I say the name is career, or let's just say this is just a bridge course. course. Now, next I have to add a new slide, okay, and that has not to be like this. It should be something of like a heading here and then the text. So that I can do uh, by like pressing here, say home, then I've got an option, new slide. I can just uh, click on it so that the drop down menu begins. Now I can select from here what I want to have, okay. I can have the title and content like this. Title will be at the top, content will be below it. If I'm using a, like a slide for uh, breaking my overall presentation into various sections, then this here can work as a section header. So let's just uh, use this one. Or you can uh, directly just click this. It will lead you into automatically the uh, next appropriate thing, which will be this one, this title and content. See. I can, uh, you can either like uh, click here and you can add it, or you can just, let me delete this, uh, you can just click on it and it will automatically reduce that, both ways you have, right? Then we uh, try to add this one. So let's just try to add some title to this uh, slide. So, uh, top of your was career prospects after we take, right? See, see, let's do that. Of 
now i can add the content here uh, so suppose like you want to say uh, that after doing btx csv you have got like uh, the main uh, the youth area that we like going to is the it industry so you can uh, mention it like here and in that suppose you want to show that uh, you have got uh, product based companies and service based companies you can mention it like this see how i have uh, made use of tab here for like uh, adding some space before the sub parts of a bullet like this is the main bullet this it industry is the main bullet and i have just uh, hit enter and then press tab so that the next bullet comes as a sub point now i can mention here as like say uh, product based companies so it's based companies i hit enter again now this part is done now i want a fresh bullet uh, that is like in the main list just uh, the indent should be just according to this it industry just exactly not a not a part of it so i can like press this one now this will uh, get back here and now i can add another thing suppose like uh, somebody wishes to go for higher education we can like place it here again now we have to like show you can go for like say mtech or uh, then mba now you see uh, the slides they appear to be like very organized in this manner right see it's a good practice when when you are preparing uh, presentation slides it's a very good practice that uh, you never include full sentences if you just add the outline that's a more uh, efficient way of presenting things because then as a presenter you would have some things to speak to talk with your audience if everything is written there on this you are uh, just, just saying exactly that the audience might uh, feel that uh, you are simply just reading out the lines and believe me no audience like any presenter to just read out the lines of the slides okay now so this was about the textual content suppose uh, in the next slide let me add one more okay uh, suppose like i'm trying to show uh, what was the first thing it was it industry okay so suppose this is about that okay career in it and for that suppose i want to add here uh, an image so if you see this this content box net already offers some options you see you have a option to insert table another option to insert chart another option to insert some smart art graphic now let's try this one okay suppose i had to show that uh, what is here uh, that there are two ways uh, how you can like work in it industry one is product based companies and one is in service based companies suppose you want to show this very artfully okay very nicely you can do that like this you can just uh, come here insert a smart graphic acha now now you have to like there is one parent and there are two children if you see this uh, let me just close it if you see this here you see IT industry can be referred to as the parent in the tree, and the product-based and service-based companies can be referred to as two children in the tree. We are talking about the visualization here. Okay, let's just see. So, smart art graphic, and we can see the options. So, we are going for hierarchy actually. So, we can make use of uh, this one. This one looks quite nice. Okay, so we are just going. to do it now see uh, now whatever i'll mention here na, that will uh, like be presented here so the first thing was let's just get back here it industry okay so if we like this uh, mention this yeah now let's click on this i'll get back to here this is the source place and there i mention it industry see how it is like presented here now now similarly uh, the two things that are uh, mentioned under this that also like we can uh, include the see and then uh, similarly uh, we just have to like write here service in place of product so that i'm doing done acha the case needs to be corrected and since we had only two like you can see here we don't need three so you can simply like delete this portion delete this and suppose like if you want to show uh, 
both of this part also no? you can do that you can do that let's see i'll do this one small Oh, sorry. And under high illustration, we have like two things, right? I'm taking MB that we can do. So. Done. You see now, if you like to try to run this, let me uh, use this option for presenting. See, now I'm presenting this. Uh, presentation that we made right now. So the, uh, the title slide looks okay. This is like uh, the first slide. Usually usually like the second slide is um, about the contents. You should keep it content. It's okay. We have not uh, mentioned their contents. Okay. And the presentation that we are actually doing right now that also does not have the contents, but that's okay. Now, so uh, let's move on to the next one. See how beautiful it looks. It, uh, like if, uh, yeah, though it looks a little bit crowded here, uh, but suppose if we like add only uh, one of these. Okay, suppose I just delete this off. Now just look at this. Looks nice, presentable, right? And then presentation uh, like, like is about appearance, like how you like are delivering, <laughs> you are presenting your content to the audience. It has to be like very uh, uh, comprehensible and uh, admirable at the same time. All right then. Uh, now there are other things also, like I just said. Uh, you could like uh, insert other things also. For example, you can insert pictures also. Whatever you like, like you have. Uh, suppose you have downloaded anything, now. so you can add that out. Okay, you can add that out. So uh, I believe. All of you are already aware that uh, we have to like uh, actually go for an Infosys Springboard uh, course, which is like attached with this one. So uh, why not talk about that? Okay, uh, the details of like how to actually learn PowerPoint that would be uh, there for us to like grasp. And uh, let's see how we can like make use of that. So I'm not saving this. I'm just canceling it out. So, uh, I believe like uh, all of you are already registered on Infosys Springboard, but in case some of you are not, uh, I will show you the way of like registering on Infosys Springboard. Actually, like uh, I have made a recording of the entire process. So I'll just see uh, if it works here or not. If it works, I'll play that or else like I will uh, help you work the entire registration process.
so there was a technical glitch uh, which has been like rectified now now let's get back to uh, the thing we were at Okay, so uh, there must be a lot of students here who have who are like already not registered on Infosys Spring Boot. Uh, like, please raise your hands to show how many of you are like requiring the information about how to register on Infosys Spring Boot. Okay, I can see some hands there. So, all right, I will like uh, discuss about that first. Okay, so uh, I will share the screen first. Just one. I hope the screen is visible now. So, so we are just writing in process Springboard. Okay, we are just making Google search, and we are landing on this page. And uh, on this, we click. Uh, all of you students who are new, I'll take things slow here so that you can also uh, work the same thing on your devices with me. Okay. So everybody, just uh, search in process Springboard and get to this page. Okay. Get to this page. Now, after coming here, you just click on this, the first link, Infos Springboard login. You come here. The users who are already registered, they log in. And the users who are not registered, they sign up, right? They register themselves. So uh, we come to this place. You can either click on Get Started. You can either go for Login. We will click on Login. Both will land on the same page. OK, we are clicking on Login, and we are coming here. It is showing uh, some address here and the password because I had like uh, registered already. That's why. But we will take take things like you know on a fresh note. So we will just delete this out because we are going to register. We are new user, right? We are registering. For all those students who are like already a part of Inter Springboard, they are already registered. They can simply just log in and get inside. For others, the new users, you have to click on register. You're a new, you are a new user, so let's click on register. All right, so now we are landed to this page. Uh, please drop some emoji so that I can get that you have actually landed to that part, that page. You are already here. Just to show uh, that you are actually at this point now, uh, please just drop some emoji. To the okay, just raise hands so that I can know that. Okay, you are already there. All right. Goraji, maximum of these students have already registered and they have Achha. already done the word and English, so no problem. Yes, sir. All right, so, uh, sir, should I just leave this part? Uh, the no, no, part? please, please continue because maybe oh. uh, there may be some students who are new. So, please. All right, sir. All right, sure. Okay, so uh, we'll just mention here the first name. Uh, I'll do it for mine, the last name. So, you see, uh, the thing is, uh, wherever there is asterisk now, that is to mention. Okay, you can never leave out those fields which have got an asterisk, like the first name, last name. Then we have got email address now. I have already registered twice, so I'll use a third email for this thing. Okay, uh, so let's do that. I'll use this one. Okay. Now the mobile number part is optional, so I'm leaving it out. I'm just setting a password. Uh, usually these days, uh, Google is offering this option, such as strong password. Okay. So you can use that. It will automatically like fill in the password for you. Then you can go for next. And it is going to remember itself. You don't have to like worry about it. Okay. Now it says thank you for signing up. And now we can like log in. Okay. So I'll just hit login. And it's there. You see, there is a message password saved and it's already filled now. And I'm clicking on login now. Now uh, I have come to this page where it says 
you need to verify your email address to activate your account. An email with instructions to verify your email address has been sent to you. So now it means that I have to open that particular uh, email, uh, which is which I had like used for registering here. Okay, so I'll do that. I'll do that. Now you can see I have opened my uh, inbox in another tab here. Okay, I'm clicking on that and I have clicked on verify email. Just let, let it open. Okay, it's taking some time to open. Let it open. When this, uh, this process bar stops, we will open it. Yeah, it seems to have like opened up. Yeah, so the message is, is verify email. We just have to like click on this link, which is email address verification. We just click on that. And yes, there is a, a time limitation here. You have to do that clicking on that link within five minutes of like, uh, your registration on the spring. Board. And now it is landing me to another tab, uh, which is also like the Infosys Springboard website. Okay. It's taking some time. It will load up. Don't worry. So this is asking about age education. I'm doing it. Yes. Okay. Submit. Terms and conditions. I'm going through that, and I've read that, and I'm agreeing to that. That's set. I'm joining as a learner, learner or parent. Okay, I'm joining as a learner here, basically. Now this is the form that's used here. The first thing, last name fields are already filled. Okay, because of the details that we had already mentioned during the initial registration. Now comes the gender part. We just select whichever is uh, for us. And we go for the token. We are mentioning that city, we are mentioning that. And in this place here, education institute name, though there is no stomach here, but you have to like mention here uh, our institute's details here, which is you just write U0875 uh, and it usually comes. Okay. And you just press uh, click on this and then the education institute address will come up here, code capital area, necessary. And then this field affiliation here, you click the other option here, other. Now the other parts, they don't have an asterisk mark. You can leave that out and you can press on next. And that was like everything about the registration. Now we have actually registered. Now it is just going to ask us about our preferences and the kind of this kind of, it will I'll hit that. So this will uh, pop up. This video will play. Uh, you can just either do that or. Goraji, your voice is breaking. I think so. Yeah, your voice is breaking. So be a little slow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sir. Sure. yeah. yeah. right now, uh, current, uh, currently I can hear it. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. Thank you. 
So uh, now this is the place where we are like mentioning our interests. So uh, you can pick some here, like uh, suppose if you are like from computer science uh, department, such as me, you can like press the relevant options like IoT I'm doing here. Okay, machine learning I'm picking. And then I'll just press next. So we are here for Papa also. So let's just mention that also. We can do that. Okay. PowerPoint, I've done it. So uh, now I click on the next button and then I land to this page where I have to like, uh, I'm give, being given the general settings. You don't have to like choose anything much here. The default settings are pretty good. You just click on apply, you click on that. And now we are on the home page. It's taking some time to like load up, but this is what it is. Home page, the dashboard. Now uh, this here, this place where we can like enter our keyboard keywords for searching. This is where you like you click and you mention PowerPoint. Okay. Uh, it would be much better idea if like also prefix it with this Microsoft. So now you see there are options here, 2010, 13, 19, 16. Okay, you can just press enter. You can, you can leave the selection part here. Just press enter. Let's just see all the results and then from there we'll pick. Now here are the list of the options and uh, this one we have to choose Microsoft PowerPoint 16. If you wish to do more courses, you can obviously do more courses also, but uh, uh, like this session is about this one. So you have to like, first of all, complete this. Okay. And now we are uh, on the like uh, overview page of this particular course, Microsoft PowerPoint 2016. Now I understand that there are like uh, more updated versions also, but this is uh, a very like widely used. It's just like uh, the example of uh, uh, Microsoft uh, Windows XP and Windows Vista. Obviously, Windows Vista was more updated than XP, but still we must have noticed if like uh, uh, you were in uh, the field, you must have noticed that. There were more systems with Windows XP installed than uh, Windows Vista. Like people were preferring uh, to store, to stay back to the Windows XP rather than like switching to Vista. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, then Windows 7 came up and things got resolved. We had a like more popular version. Right. All right. So, so getting back here, Windows 16, and now you must be already knowing. And for for those who are new here. There are two aspects that we need to like take in order to earn the certificate. First thing is we have to watch all the kind. Watch. So this course is of say seven hours, 13 minutes, but uh, the entire course must be like various clips. Okay. And it will be like not uh, like one long video. Sections in parts you can view your own. It's a self-paced course. Okay. And after having completed the course, you are supposed to give a quiz. The quiz is very hard. It will have like all the questions over there. They will be like this course. If you are too answers so for that part you have to be a bit careful otherwise it's uh, a very easy quiz not very hard okay it, it isn't that quick so uh, the okay. quiz requires you 70 percent okay below that you won't be able to get like always keep your percentage above 70 percent okay so two requirements number one 
you have to watch all the videos. Number two, you have to take the quiz. So now uh, for the, for taking the first step, that is about like starting it. You have to like press on start here. Before that, let's just see the overview. Uh, let's see the contents. See, these are the videos there. You have like introduction, uh, an overview. It will talk about how to get started. It will talk, talk about text and bullets. Some of it we have actually done here, right? Then we will talk about how we can add some graphics to the presentation. That also we have done, right? It will talk about more things. Uh, so it's really worthwhile to go through this uh, entire course. So please do. And uh, let's press on start here. See. And now, in I'll just press mute here so that uh, we can continue our conversation. So I believe now you are able to like grasp how we uh, can register for those who are new, how we can register the course and then start it. Your comments that we have, I'm repeating this one more, once more for the last time. You have to watch all the videos and you have to give the quiz. And you have to score 70% and above in order to earn that certificate. Okay. Eventually, you are going to submit it, and I believe there will be uh, like a separate submission form will be uh, communicated to you during that. So now I request everybody here to start watching this course and uh, go back to your respective departmental team meetings. Where there uh, will be. Uh, yes, sir. Goro, I will I will just interfere. Uh, yeah. First of all, thank you very much for such a wonderful session. It was very clear, very brief and concise, and very knowledgeable. Thank you. So uh, thank I am you. impressed. <laughs> thank you. Sir. Uh, so uh, Kumarji, uh, thank you very much once again. And students, there are two announcements. One. Uh, that as you, uh, Goroji has mentioned that this course is of seven hour duration. So please use your time, complete it, uh, submit the assignment, and please take uh, the uh, screenshot of submission page and send it to your departmental WhatsApp group so that uh, you can uh, give them a proof that you have done it, right? Second thing, uh, tomorrow there won't be any uh, uh, bridge class because of Sri Krishna Janmashtami, right? So our next class will be on 8th, right? And that will be uh, announced on your uh, departmental uh, WhatsApp group, which link you have to join and how you need to proceed. So thanks you, Goroji. And students, please uh, move to the Springboard site. And after completing the assignment, please submit the screenshots to your departmental uh, WhatsApp group as a proof of your submission. And please ensure getting more than 70% marks so that you can have a certificate. You can get a certificate from Infosys. Thank you and all the best. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah. IT, you can close the uh, team. Yes, sir.